In news from Jamaica, the island is preparing to welcome another world leader. Prime Minister of Britain David Cameron is expected to visit Jamaica at the end of September. The two countries' colossal ties have been entrenched in history. Jamaica was once a colony of England, having parted ways on August 6, 1962. Since then, Britain has been a close ally, sponsoring several crime prevention initiatives over the years. But even as Prime Minister David Cameron makes the much-anticipated trip to Jamaica's shores, there are those watching from the sidelines as it relates to issues up for debate with his Jamaican counterparts. Opposition Member of Parliament Mike Henry says Mr. Cameron must be shunned if he's quiet on the issue of reparations. Henry, along with the National Commission of Reparations, headed by Professor Vereen Shepherd, have been advocates for Jamaica and the region to be paid for the ills of slavery and native genocide. Mr. Henry told the Jamaica Gleaner on Thursday that, quote, If it is not on the agenda, I will not attend any functions involving the visiting prime minister, and I will cry shame on those who do, considering that there was not a dissenting voice in the debate in Parliament. Meanwhile, a member of Jamaica's National Commission on Reparations and noted attorney Bert Samuels agrees that reparations should feature highly for discussion during the British Prime Minister's visit. Mr. Samuels says research has shown that Cameron's family were owners of slaves. At a very personal level, the Cameron family has been traced to owners of slaves in the Caribbean so that the Prime Minister himself is, is a descendant of slave owners so that in his own family whatever wealth they have was derived from the blood, sweat and tears of the people of the Caribbean so at a very personal level he should be easy for him to remind himself of this from his own family history but from the history of England itself, his parliament, that same parliament in which he stands and speaks in England, voted for £27 million in compensation to slave owners. And we, the descendants of slaves, think it is appropriate for the leader of that country visiting us that that topic should be raised with him as is part of the civilized world. The civilized world has signed into the United Nations and there are provisions in the United Nations Charter for reparatory justice. The National Reparation Commission argues that the Caribbean is due approximately Jamaican $416.3 trillion in reparation money. However, based on the calculations of economic historian David Richardson, it is estimated that the total reparation money owed by Britain to its former colonies is 7.5 trillion euros. Meanwhile, the government is expected to host the Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. There has been no official details of the two leaders. However, in a release from the office of the Prime Minister on Thursday, the government said it is preparing to host official visits to Jamaica by two special guests of the government of Jamaica between September 29 and October 1. The release noted that the timing of the announcement of both the visits and their itineraries is being agreed between the government of Jamaica and the respective foreign governments.